Hello, I'm Tina Leggett. I'm here on behalf of the European Huntington's Association in the Novartis campus in Switzerland. I'm here today to learn about a clinical trial they're conducting in Huntington's disease with a drug called Brunaplam. And I'm here to meet some of the team. The first person I'm going to meet is the Global Program Head for Neuroscience, Dimitris Papanikolaou. Hello. Hi, Demetrius. Shall we? Thank you. Can you tell me about Novartis's commitment to Huntington's disease and your interest in this field? Novartis has uh, been working with Huntington's for many years. What happened uh, a few years ago is that we discovered that Branaplam actually works in this disease as part of that effort. And we dug a little bit deeper and we find out that it really has an effect. And we went on now and we started a study in patients with, we're very excited uh, about starting that study and we hope they will be able to finally provide some meaningful benefit for these patients. How do you see HD families contributing to the, the drug development process? Huntington's families are the ones that really know the most about this devastating disease. They live with their loved ones with this disease and they're the ones supporting them and they know their needs probably better than anybody else, including scientists. We in fact have been talking to patient associations and to families as we're shaping our protocols and then have discussions with them after the protocols have been finalized to make sure that the study is easy enough, as easy as we can for the patients and for them and making sure that we capture what is important for those patients. So now I'm about to talk to Zheng Ho Cha, who is neurologist and neuroscientist at Novartis. And I'm speaking to him from Massachusetts. Good morning. Hi, Tina. Very nice to be with you. I understand that you feel very passionate about Huntington's disease. Can you tell me how that came about, please? Yeah, thanks. I've been working on Huntington's disease for about 30 years, and I first got introduced to Huntington's disease when I was a medical student. And I was able to travel to Venezuela with the group led by Nancy Wexler and Anne Young when we were looking for the gene for Huntington's disease. And so, as you know, there's a large population with Huntington's disease in Venezuela. And that's where I really got introduced to this disease. I have seen thousands of patients with Huntington's disease. And then following my residency in neurology, and um, I was able to pursue Huntington's disease in the laboratory with my uh, research looking at what goes wrong in the brains of mice that have been given Huntington's disease. And as a clinical neurologist, I've been privileged to uh, help work with families and patients of Huntington's disease in the clinic. And um, I've really been very passionate about this disease for my whole career. Tell me about Branaplam specifically. What, what is it? How does it work? We have the possibility that Branaplam might be a convenient oral medication that one could take a pill. And if we are correct, it would lower the amounts of the harmful Huntington protein in the brain. And by doing so, since we believe that the Huntington is the bad guy protein that's causing Huntington's disease, there's the possibility that this would delay the onset or slow the progression of Huntington's disease. Thank you very much. So now I'm going to be talking to Beth Borowski, who's a neuropharmacologist at Novartis. Could you tell me a little bit about how you came to be involved in the program, the Branaplam program? Yeah, I'm happy to tell you. So before I joined Novartis, I'd spent 12 years working exclusively on Huntington's disease research and development including 10 years working at a nonprofit research organization called CHDI. A few months after I got to Novartis, I found out about this amazing compound that they had called Branaplam, which had been studied in SMA children for many years and might have potential for Huntington's disease. And I was offered the opportunity to switch to that program. So I, I really feel like I was brought to Novartis for some reason. Um, and it was actually uh, to be at the right place at the right time for this program. Mm -hmm. Good. 
So can you tell me about this phase two study that's coming up? Sure, so we are um, ready to start a phase two study called Vibrant HD. Um, and this study is a dose finding study to be able to select the, the appropriate dose of Ranaplam to move forward into further clinical development. So we are very happy that we are going to recruit our first patient either later this month or uh, next month. So I can tell you the design of the study is, is a two-part study. The, the first part is a, a dose rank, ranging study where people will be randomized to either ranoplam or placebo. Um, and ranoplam or placebo are given as a weekly oral liquid medication that you drink sort of like cough syrup. Um, and then in the second part of the study, uh, which occurs after everyone's been in the study for 16 weeks, um, everyone will be moved to an, what's called an open label extension, where everyone, including the people on placebo, will get to go to the dose that we select for future development. And how many patients and countries will be involved? So we'll be recruiting 75 patients uh, with early manifest Huntington's disease um, in 11 countries uh, throughout North America and Europe. And how will you know if the trial is successful? Success for the trial is that we have been able to identify a dose of Ranoplan that is safe and well tolerated and that lowers mutant Huntington in the CSF, the cerebral spinal fluid, um, in a way that we believe will be uh, beneficial for slowing the progression of the disease. So does that mean that there will be numerous lumbar punctures involved? Well, Branoplan will be able to be taken orally um, at home. Uh, it does mean that lumbar punctures will be done in order to collect CSF so that we can uh, track the amount of mutant Huntington lowering in the CSF. The nice thing about Branoplan is that we think that in the future we won't have to do that. It's possible that by the time we get to our phase three studies, we may be able to use just Huntington lowering in, in blood to be able to predict what's going on in the brain. Um, but for the first study, to pick the first dose, it, it is really important um, to be able to get that sense of, of how much we're lowering um, in the CSL. Thank you very much for calling in. That's been really helpful to get an overview of the logistics of that study. Thank you, happy to help. What next now for Novartis? Well, next comes the beginning of our study. Looking forward to enrolling many people with the Huntington's disease, getting the results from the study, moving to the next study, and hopefully, if uh, everything works well, having a real option for this terrible disease for which we have nothing now. But we don't stop there. We have a basic science program exploring other ideas, other mechanisms to really make sure that we have all the best possible options for people with Huntington's disease in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. There's certainly lots of experience and passion for Huntington's disease here. I have to keep in mind that we're just uh, looking at a phase two study, so there's a fair way to go, but I'm hoping that I can be back here next year reporting some really good results.